Hello friends, we have got Dr. Sabisha C. Das. Uh, he is a pharmacy graduate from Odisha. Subsequently, he did his PhD with BIT Mishra and is currently working in the NIH project in the United States. So, Sabisachi, could you tell us what inspired you to do research and uh, starting from a humble place in Odisha? How has been your journey so far? Um, yeah, uh, hello, sir. Uh, so, uh, I will be uh, saying like, uh, you know, like if you dream big, it's important, but you have to work for it. So, it was like my true inspiration, which I got from my mother. She has been always supportive. Uh, like my parents have already given me uh, opportunities, like you can explore it. So, from there, uh, when it is something from your home, so it feels to be a bit easy. So she has been always been there. So just saying, okay, you can do it. You have to look for the bigger picture and uh, you can be a good researcher. I can see that thing with you. So this is how I started uh, thinking for doing my, you know, like my passion and profession towards research. And uh, so this is how I joined like BIT Mesra as a PhD candidate. Um, I learned a lot from my mentors also, my scientific skills, my writing skills, thinking broader into the research domain. and. Uh, Yes, the life has been a bit tough one. It's not that easy as it seems to be. Uh, but uh, this is something, you know, you keep on working. So this is how, like, my PhD journey started. Yeah. How do you feel about the changes? Like, you came from Odisha. You did your master, bachelor and master from Odisha. Then you went to Mishra and now you are in US. So you have seen at least three kind of institutions. How do you feel? Exactly the work ethics or the environment and how you feel it could help India in adopting the best practices? So uh, my bachelor's and master's is uh, from one of the renowned college in Odisha, although it's not very famous uh, because uh, it's in a very cold city in Odisha. So during my bachelor's and master's, I've seen my seniors, my uh, like faculties uh, who were like uh, there for me always, uh, but there was not a thing that I will be doing this such, to be honest. So now the scenario has been changed. Uh, I think after 2015 and 17, there has been a vast change in the mindset of the young uh, people. Like they, they think like the, that they can go into the field of research. But earlier, uh, it was something like we were always told you can complete your bachelor's and master's, you can go for industrial options. So that was more emphasized over there and people were more towards the industrial approaches. Uh, but it was uh, beyond the thing, like, uh, I remember, like, my batch, I, and few of my friends only, it was, uh, like, only three or four, I can count of them, we thought, let's go something apart from this, let's try something to be called as research, we came out of Odisha, and the whole world was, like, very big for us, because there were people who knew a lot of things, they were very much skilled, because they were into, like, eminent institutes, other institutes in India, so well, I just gave an exam, exam I cleared the exam in BIT Mesra, I joined as a PhD. And when I came there, I just know like I am a PhD grad and I literally know nothing. And when I cannot, uh, like, you know, I cannot be unhappy because uh, I have been from an institute where I was not even thought of like doing this because that was a fixed content. So I would suggest uh, like the people who are uh, like these states um, who, who can, you know, who can, just see among the students, like, yes, you can do it. So luckily I had few of my mentors uh, in Odisha, basically. They always say like, you have that thing, but you have to go out of Odisha because Odisha has always been a uh, struggling for pharmacy, particularly I can say it. Uh, there was not much of thing, but yes, now the things have completely changed. I'm seeing a lot of like uh, research activities coming from my own university and some allied universities because I think they've started collaborating. That's a big thing. So industrial collaborations, international collaborations, they can be a boom for a research uh, thing, particularly from the institute from where we come as a, as a young grad. And after coming to like a BIT Mesra, definitely it was a platform where I've explored a lot. I can see myself a lot of changes. When I came from Odisha in 2017, I joined PhD. And after getting my PhD award in 22, I was a completely different person. As a researcher, I can say, uh, my thinking skills, my attitude, my, uh, you know, the positivity towards research, my aim, goal, everything changed. 
and after that i joined as an assistant professor i got an opportunity to guide some of the students and that was the best experience of my life okay. so it's it's a it's a you know it's a live experience from a student yeah, to guide a student comment upon yeah. how simple or difficult it was your journey from bit mishra to your nis project in us yes uh so i feel uh, uh like when i completed my phd i joined so i was continuously applying for the postdocs and i have seen a lot of failures and uh, to be honest even i didn't got a reply from a lot of institutes might not be like my cv will be perfect for their positions uh, but i keep on trying keep on trying keep on trying and there was a time it was almost i think i have uh, submitted for more than some hundreds of applications and uh when i got this opportunity uh, this was a bigger uh, opportunity for me because coming to us and that to an nih project is a big thing i think it it can be as a dream come true for me because i have seen the journey from like you know from odisha to ranchi and then ranchi to us i could stop you for a while and ask you yeah what do you think worked for you to get this particular position in a nih project if you yes. could elaborate upon that so uh, i feel uh, this is a you know this is a mindset like uh, if your cv is good and you are having good publications and good write up skills and all this then you have a better chance this is something which i have been told with my seniors and my mentors but why i personally felt is you have to be strong enough from your research thing verbally as well as uh, experimentally also because when we give interview i have faced the things that i am having everything on my cv i don't feel like many of these bigger professors they even look the complete cv they just want what you know so i feel if somebody is applying for a post doc particularly for bigger institute they should have a better command on their research things what they have performed you know sometimes what happens you have everything on cv but you are unable to speak it out yeah if i could add uh two things are required of course what sabia has said that you should have a strong command on work you have done so you should know your strength and the uh, skill sets but simultaneously you should prove yourself to be useful to the other group exactly. that is seeking placement because they have got as sabia said they have seen large number of applications and they would be more interested that who is the person more suitable to them so you need to prove your worth to get a place over there sabia another question i would like to ask you is about the cultural issues and the logistic challenges in this journey uh, because uh, this is where a lot of our students suffer they don't get visa for long and okay um so um so i would i would just give us a short example to just brief it out so for an example you are keep on trying and you get an offer letter all of sudden and you are very happy okay like you know th- this is something what you are looking for but after that comes the exact challenge what like uh, wasne sir told so the entire process of like you know for the journey the logistics the arrangements the uh, like you know the application process it takes a lot of time so i would suggest if somebody is planning to just move out to like us and move into us so you have to think at least like four or six months earlier because the visa process is very you know uh, it's it's very very unpredicted sometimes you get your dates and like visa process very easily it's like within one month or two months but sometimes it takes a lot of time so i would suggest like there are lot of you know information things shared on like digital platforms and uh, uh, for me luckily i got everything done by one month because i came in an off season so this is again a bigger thing you know like if you are applying an on season time and you are applying for off season the things completely change so if you are applying like august september october chances of getting visa process is a bit easier rather comparing to get it in march april or may so because the uh, the post doc scenario is not fixed for session wise you can move in at any time so whenever you are planning to this you can think of that yeah can you tell us in brief maybe about a minute or so about your current research goals what are you working yeah. and how it would help the humanity in general so my uh, group basically works on the skin therapeutics we are working on transdermal dermal and topical applications of uh, different uh, drugs i am working into nsids 
so basically they can be as a you know they can be used particularly for like pain relief and uh, uh, anti inflammatory relief so my main goal is like we are working on certain things that could be translated to the public domain so that particularly for the patients who are unable to directly uh, take the nsids they can be like having those things uh, through topical and transdermal things so that that will be more as a patient compliance uh, so my main uh, research is into this okay the last word uh, would you like to what would you like to advise future aspirant of pdf abroad so um, i will just suggest like uh, uh, just keep on trying until and unless you get your goal and for that you will be getting lot of hurdles never get it down meet with some good people there are a lot of people who are able, able to uh, like help out i can literally say like wasna sir you are literally doing a very great job because i i can feel this and this is a very helpful for those students who come from a background where they don't get any help or support so um, and the last thing i can say is like when you think big you definitely will get it but you have to keep on working on it so just fix your aim and your goal and definitely like sky is the limit thank you sambhi sir chief for this interaction i hope it helps the future aspirants in planning their things in much better way